and today's video is going to be my no November favourites. What? Can't believe November's over. How are we almost in 2014? I don't know. But anyway, I've got a couple of things to show you this month. Not a ton of stuff because I've basically just been using the same products as I was in um, last month. So the first thing I've got is a perfume and this is the Viva La Juicy Juicy Couture Perfume. Really, really popular and for a good reason. This is an absolutely beautiful perfume. I think a lot of people would probably like it. It's sweet but it's like... It's not overpowering, it's quite subtle. I don't know, maybe it's not, I'm not very good at describing scents, but I really, really do like this. If you are interested, then go and smell it because it smells like absolute heaven. <laughs> Next is a lip crayon, and I actually picked this up at the Priceline sale this month, which was at the end of the month, but I've just been wearing it non-stop. I'm wearing it on my lips today. It's a perfect coral for spring and summer, and this is by Bourjois, and it's their colour boost in the colour Peach on the Beach. It's really, really moisturising and stays on your lip for a very, very long time, and it's just a very, really, really pretty peachy, corally colour. You guys can judge for yourself. I've got it on right now. So yeah, that's that one. Next is my L'Oreal True Match Foundation and Lauren Curtis raves about this and it's for good reasons. The really awesome thing about this is that it is very, very high coverage but it's very um, runny and it's you don't feel like you have layers and layers on your skin. I am wearing it today. The only bad thing about this is the colour selection. This is a lighter shade they have and it's quite dark. I'm wearing it now while I'm fake tan and I think it's a tiny, tiny bit light for me. So it would be nice if they came out with some lighter shades but um, I do really, really like this. And I would highly, highly recommend this if you are looking for a nice full coverage foundation that isn't going to make you feel like you've got layers upon layers on your skin. Next is also something that I can only wear when I am fake tanned because it's a little bit too dark for me but I really do enjoy this and this is the MAC Pro Long Wear, um, Pro Long Wear Concealer and I have mine in this shade NW20. Kind of wish the lady at the counter gave me a lighter shade because this is too dark for me and she colour matched me but gave me a dark shade so I don't know why she did that. But this is really good for under eyes as well as blemishes. Under eyes, if I find that it doesn't crease, like a lot of my um, under eye concealers do crease but this one is pretty pretty good. It still creases a little bit but I think that's probably just because I have like wrinkly under eyes or something because I'm not careful enough when I apply my concealer so I probably should stop that. Very very creamy so I would highly recommend this one and I think that is definitely worth the, worth, <laughs> worth the hype that it gets on the beauty community here on YouTube. Last beauty product I have is the Face of Australia Translucent Loose Powder and again I picked this up at the price line 40% off sale. This is like beautiful. A lot of translucent powders give quite a white cast to your face because um, generally translucent powders are like quite like white but they still do leave quite a white cast on your face if you are a little bit tanner. I don't really have that problem because I'm so pale so the white probably suits me quite well but this one I think would suit a lot of different skin tones because it is coloured but it's still translucent. Um, it's very, very finely milled and it lasts absolutely forever. I think this might like outdo my Rimmel Stay Matte, which is a little bit crazy there because I love that. But um, you do get so much more product in this. And yeah, highly, highly would recommend this translucent powder. Now, moving on to fashion favourites. I've only got two this month. So the first one is this skirt. And... I have had this for quite a while and I probably should have included it in a favourites video before but I just haven't and this month I was like you know what I wear this like four times a week so I should probably include it. It is this black like A-line um, mini skirt and it's by the brand Luck and Trouble so um, you can probably search that up and maybe find this. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera but it is corduroy material and it is the comfiest thing ever and it's super super fra fla flattering and it goes with absolutely everything. It's become like a really awesome basic in my wardrobe. Next fashion favourite I'm a little bit embarrassed to show you but I'm going to show you anyway. This is these shoes and if you can tell they are pretty much wrecked like 
they're all ripped at the back and that is because I wear them all the time. I'm wearing these today even though they're completely wrecked. Um, yeah, I wear these basically every single day. They're from Ruby and for Ruby shoes they have lasted such a long time. They do still have these online. I believe they have them in black and a couple of other colours. So I think I'm actually going to go and pick up these again in the white and the black and the other colours because they're just really really comfy and kind of like their skirt they go with absolutely everything and yeah they're just really really awesome for summer probably need to throw these out because they look disgusting but yeah that's those next favorite is just a nail polish and ironically i'm not actually wearing nail polish today so probably need to get onto that but this is the essie nail polish in bahama mama and it's just a really really deep purpley plum color Probably not too suited to the weather we have at the moment, but um, I really, really like this colour and I love the formulation of the Essie nail polishes. So that is everything for my November favourites this month. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you leave me a comment down below letting me know what your November favourite was. And I am so excited for Christmas. If you can't already tell, I've got my little Santa hat in the back and I bought myself an advent calendar because I'm a kid. And I've also got a little reindeer right there. So, um, yeah, right there. So I'm really excited for Christmas. I think I'm going to do the Christmas tag. But yeah, I think that's all I've got to say in this video. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you check out all of my social networking sites that will be linked in the down bar because I update them a lot more often than I do my YouTube, like my face, Facebook, my Tumblr, my Twitter, and my Instagram. So you can go and check those out if you would like to. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Cosmetics sale. So I went a little bit crazy. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. <laughs>